Hey guys, welcome back to Bumby TV. So today we're going to be reacting to one of the suggestions, guys. Please follow me, Vinny Why I know, guys. We're going to be reacting to Christian Lady had heated exchange with Doctor Zaki Nike about Jesus. Wow, this is going to be interesting, guys. Please follow me for taking this long to come back. Like. I was going through a lot. Guys, let's get straight into this. And before we start, I wanted to tell you that this video is actually sponsored by Bone Week, guys. They made this video possible. Guys, you're gonna see their link in my description box, so do make sure you check them out. Guys, let's get straight into this. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Click to subscribe, believing beings. And press the bell icon to get notified about new videos. Yes, sister, most welcome. Can I have your name and your profession and a question, sister? All right, so my name is Rose and I work for Qatar Airways. My question is, I've heard you talk about religion so much and I'll speak of the Bible because that's what I'm aware of. You say, you talk of Jesus as religious leader. But as far as I'm concerned, Jesus did not come to introduce any religion. Neither is he a religion, religious leader. What Jesus introduced in this world was the kingdom of God. The second question, maybe you can elaborate, uh, which religion is God? Because as far as I do research, I've come to understand that Jesus, who is my Lord and my Savior, he did not introduce any of those. He introduced the government of heaven. In other words, he wanted to colonize the world like, with heavenly power. There is a lot of controversies. The other question is... Sister, please pose one question at a time. I already posted two questions. After the answer, you can have the next question. Okay. One question at a time. The sister has two questions. And I believe the sister is a Christian. She said that I said Jesus was a religious leader. I never said that. I never ever said Jesus, peace be upon him, was a religious leader. I said he was a messenger of God. There's a world of a difference between messenger of God and religious leader. A messenger of God is far superior. We have many religious leaders in the world today. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was a messenger of God. And you said in your question that he is your Lord and your Savior. First, yes. let me tell you, sister. Islam is the only non-Christian faith which makes it an article of faith to believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. No Muslim is a Muslim if he does not believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. We believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was one of the mightiest messengers of Almighty God. We believe that he was the Messiah, which is translated Christ. We believe that he was born miraculously without any male intervention, which many modern day Christians today do not believe. We believe that he gave life to the dead with God's permission. We believe that he healed those born blind and lepers with God's permission. The Muslims and the Christians, we are going together. But one may ask, then where is the parting of faith? The parting of faith is that most of the Christians believe, including yourself, that we come to know from a question, that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, claimed divinity. And most of the Christians believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is God. Let me remind you, sister, I'm a student of comparative religion. I've read the Bible. There is not a single unequivocal statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God or where he says worship me. If, sister, you can point out a single unequivocal statement from anywhere in the Bible, a single unambiguous statement from anywhere in the Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God or where he says worship me, I, Zakir Naik, am ready to accept Christianity today. I have heard you sir, saying that I am many not times. speaking on behalf of the other Muslims. I am ready to put my head on the guillotine. There uh, is not a single unequivocal statement. Hear my question clearly. Hear my challenge clearly, sister. There is not a single unambiguous statement, not a single unequivocal statement, where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God, or where he says worship me. Yes, sister. 
I have an answer to that, sir. Yes, in the book of John, the Bible says that in the beginning was the Word. The Word was God, and the Word was with God. And the Word became flesh. What I want you to wait, know wait, is wait, that... Wait, 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 sister. That does not fulfill my challenge at all. You, you name the book, I will give you reference. You are quoting from Gospel of John, chapter number 1, verse number 1. And the Word became flesh is verse number 11, 12, 13. You are quoting only the book. I'm giving you chapter number, verse number. I answer but, me. Wait, wait, the I'm, word became God. But what does that full, say? Sister, were these the words spoken by Jesus, peace be upon him? And the answer is no. What is my challenge? Not a single unequivocal statement. Not a single unambiguous statement. From anywhere in the Bible, where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says, Himself says means that should be in red letter. There is something called as red letter Bible. If you are a Christian, you may be aware of it. Red letter means Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself said. Gospel of John, chapter number 1, verse number 1 to 13 is not in red. I'll answer it. Wait, 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 I'll answer it. First of all, you have not fulfilled my challenge. It should be Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself says. These are not the words of Jesus. It is the word of a Jew by the name of Philo. Correct? It's the word of a Jew by the name of Philo. And John. never ever did he claim divinity for this. Yet, I will help you. What does it say?